All right, so the question is, is InfoWars via Paul Joseph Watson inciting a riot towards an eventual civil war by their use of violent language in response to the black bloc anarchist rioters who disrupted a peaceful protest at UC Berkeley where Milo Yiannopoulos, who is the... Uh, editor of Breitbart.com, a alt-right uh, website, and uh, I would say that uh, they're stepping over the lines here, and I just wanted to share that, uh, you know, in 99, I lived in Seattle, and that was the first time I was involved in any protest. The World Trade Organization met at that time, and I saw how uh, these people in black masks would fight with the police, uh, throwing Molotov cocktails and uh, destroying property, uh, breaking windows. And it's a cowardly thing to do to wear a mask. And the anonymous group wearing the masks is the same way. In any of these groups, uh, the majority of people uh, are there, you know, because they think it's legitimate and they have no idea that uh, there could be individuals within these groups that they trust, such as InfoWars or. Uh, the black bloc anarchists or whatever uh, that may have a different uh, plan and may be working in unison towards this goal of a civil war to keep the masses of people under the control of a ruling class. And so just wanted to show some examples of what I'm talking about. Uh, here's Paul Joseph. Uh, well, first we'll see uh, Milo describe his event under siege. Progressive left, the social justice left, the feminist Black Lives Matter, Antifa left, the hard left, which has become so utterly antithetical to free speech in the last few years, um, is taking a turn post-Trump's election where they simply will not allow any speaker on campus, even somebody as silly and harmless and gay as me, um, to, to have their voice heard. They won't... Totally true. You saw this the other day at this uh, Muslim day uh, speech in Texas where the uh, attendees formed a wall and would limit anybody from getting uh, close enough uh, to the speakers or to interact with the crowd at any time any group is limiting the public uh, flow of people whether it's uh, street protesters without a permit or whatever uh, that's a form of violence to allow students to listen to differing points of view, they're absolutely petrified. Wednesday night, a protest against the scheduled 8 p.m. speech of libertarian gay activist and Breitbart technology editor Milo Yiannopoulos turned violent, spiraling into a shelter-in-place order by campus officials. UC Berkeley released this statement regarding the events. The violence was instigated by a group of about 150 masked agitators who came onto campus and interrupted an otherwise non-violent protest. The decision to cancel the event was made at about 6 p.m. and officers read several dispersal announcements to a crowd of more than 1,500 protesters who had gathered outside the student union where Yiannopoulos was to speak. He immediately was escorted from the building and left campus. Fires were deliberately set. One outside the campus Amazon outlet, Molotov cocktails caused generator-powered spotlights to catch fire. Commercial-grade fireworks were thrown at police officers. Barricades pushed into windows and skirmishes within the crowd were among the evening's violent acts. The masked agitators came to campus eastbound on Bancroft Way and fire damage and other destruction to the Stiles Hall construction site where a new residence hall is planned was reported. The group entered campus and immediately began throwing rocks at officers in an effort to avoid injuries to innocent members of the surrounding crowd who might have been caught in the middle. Police officers exercised restraint and did not respond with force. Agitators also attacked some members of the crowd who were rescued by police. UCPD reported no major injuries and about a half dozen minor injuries. President Trump immediately denounced the attack in a tweet that read, UC Berkeley does not allow free speech and practices violence on innocent people with a different point of view. No federal funds? Okay. So uh, this is an example of that scam you may have remembered from grade school. Where one person does something wrong and the teacher says the whole class is in trouble. That's total uh, BS. 
uh, I, I can't stand universities and uh, black black protesters, but how is blaming them for what these masked people do uh, uh, fair and, and threatening to remove federal funds under that behavior? So I think that uh, people that don't want any to do with any of this talk, as well as people that are heavily involved in, in following politics, they're they're not prepared uh, for the other side of what's going on. They can see that the progressives are totally mind controlled by CNN to do whatever they say to do. And when you ask them, why are you protesting? They obviously, many of them don't know. Okay. But they're not prepared for well, what do you do when people are crazy all around you? Right. Because if it gets close enough to you, it, it might very well incite people to violence of like, I'm going to deal with these little punks, right? And then they're not aware that as soon as they step out there and start, you know, dealing out vigilante justice, that it's just going to suck all this demon energy of violence uh, to, to that. And then we end up in martial law, civil war. Okay. And uh, here you're going to see uh, Paul Joseph Watson uh, and he steps over the line and he calls these people idiots and all these terrible words. And that is going to, you know, rile up this InfoWars audience to feel that they need to defend, maybe even violently so. Like, it, maybe it'd be the anarchist that starts hitting somebody, but then they start bashing their head or something like that. I, I could see that happening, just, you know, being 40 and remembering how it was when I was younger being at these things. <laughs> This is how they reacted to the beating, the pepper spraying of women, and the violent rioting at UC Berkeley last night. Buzzfeed writer Hannah Jewell. Laughing my ass off, Berkeley. <laughs> Vice writer Hussein Kazvani. Listening to Milo on Fox in light of all the stuff happening at Berkeley, and how he's been allowed to appear reasonable in all this. Right, so a gay man giving a talk about offensive Halloween costumes versus violent rioters attacking women with pepper spray and flagpoles and you're saying Milo is the unreasonable one. MSNBC producer Kyle Griffin. Trump is considering pulling federal funds from UC Berkeley because he's upset about protests over a Breitbart editor. Bludgeoning people with wooden poles because they have a different opinion to you isn't a protest, you utter twat. That's violent assault. Google engineer Adrian Porterfeld. Last night I got a call from the UC Berkeley Alum Association asking for donations. Wonder if they're psychic. Time to donate, I think. Yeah, time to donate because there's just not enough money to fund vicious attacks on people for exercising their free speech rights, is there? The mayor of Berkeley. Using speech to silence marginalised communities and promote bigotry is unacceptable. Hate speech isn't welcome in our community. But using fists, feet, flagpoles and pepper spray to silence speech that's tolerant and liberal, Hollywood director Judd Apatow. This is just the beginning. When will all the fools who are still supporting Trump realize what is at stake? Oh, we've realized it, Judd. We've realized what's at stake. You want to threaten 55 million American gun owners with civil war? Yeah, good luck with that, you fucking cretinous cunt. Okay, so is he threatening uh, the... Uh libertarians and conservatives with civil war or is he saying that when trump uh gets a hold of this and starts changing law right as a as a punitive measure and and, and, and punishing the university that's not responsible for what uh this anarchist does you, you see what i'm saying so I'd appreciate it if you'd comment and uh, uh, bring this to the attention of uh, th this uh, Paul Joseph Watson and uh, InfoWars. And if you want to learn more about the Black Block, I'd suggest uh, this uh, Antifa and the Black Block Explained by Sargon of Akkad. Thank you.